Well, isn't this a colorful menagerie of drip tools? So you're looking at the Sprinkler Warehouse website, wondering, hmm, which punch to get? Well, today we're going to sort them for you and tell you their individual strengths. I'm Alfred Castillo, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's talk about drip punches. Most kits that we sell come with a punch. If you've ordered a kit, you're probably good, but check that a punch is provided with your kit. Still not a bad idea to pick up an extra punch, especially if you're like me and your tools have a way of walking off and hiding, even when I'm working by myself. So let us begin with the Dig Polytubing Punch. It's a straightforward little punch with no extra tools on it. It's quite sturdy and gets the job done, and it's inexpensive. I personally think that there are other punches that are easier to use. This orange one is the MaxiJet Ag Pro Punch. It's really sturdy and this tip on the end is quite sharp. It fits your hand really well, gives you enough length and a ridged handle to get a good grip. It also features a hex nut driver on the bottom for helping to install MaxiJet emitters. I don't find that feature particularly helpful, but it is really a good punch. I found it works brilliantly on 3 quarter and even 1 inch poly tubing which has a thicker wall. That metal spike pops right into them. This is a Tempo Easy Pro Punch. This one is pretty unique in that it has a retractable black plastic guard to help prevent you from accidentally pricking yourself. The guard retracts to reveal a sturdy plastic sharp spike. I like using it because the guard cradles the half inch poly, making it less likely to slip while you're in the process of punching a hole. Despite the fact that the spike on it is plastic, it really seems to work quite well on 3 quarter and 1 inch as well. No problem. It also has a doohickey on the end to hold barb couplers, goof plugs, and some emitters to aid inserting them into poly tubing. Next up, the Mr. Landscaper All-in-One Tool. Calling it an all-in-one is a little ambitious, but it does have some pretty unique features among the punches here. Very sturdy. It has a plastic spike that's plenty sharp for the job. I really like how the wings hold the poly tubing in place as you punch, kind of like the Tempo Easy Punch Pro. Because of the wings, I find it a little more difficult to use on 3 quarter inch poly and 1 inch. It fits really well in the hand and has a ridged body for extra grip. Lucky for me, it also came with a little instruction card to show what the other little things on here do. The hole on the end can be used to help insert certain drip emitters, goof plugs, etc. It works well with MaxiJet fittings. The groove down the center here allows you to hold a coupler or other fittings that are already in place in the end of the poly tubing. This little yellow doodad on the side here is built to help clean emitters and fittings should they get clogged. This punch often comes included in some of the Mr. Landscaper drip kits. This bad boy here is a Dig Pro Punch. I love this punch. As far as punches go, it's kind of expensive, but so incredible to use. It's ready to go for half inch poly. And if you're going to punch three quarter, pop out this little blue, whatever this is called. And if you got a lot of punching to do, I highly recommend it. The Polygator 5-in-1 is quite a bit more than a punch. I made a video just for it, but I thought I'd mention it here because it does have a punch on it. Down here at the bottom of the handle, you unlatch the punch mechanism. Push down and latch it back and you're ready for business. The metal pin is sharp and sturdy. And if you hold it like this, you can get a really good grip. However, if all you need is a punch, it is a bit heavy. It also features a crimping tool, a mallet, cutter, and a nut driver. While not technically a punch, the Zeriman tool by Rainbird would kind of go along with this category of punches. It's lavender, not sure why. It bypasses the need to punch altogether by aiding you in inserting Rainbird Zeri bugs and bar PC modules directly into poly tubing. Place the Zeri bug in this hole here and push it into the tubing. This notch on the side helps pop out fittings like so. And the hole on the end fits Rainbird goof plugs to help with popping them in. It's not so great with other brands of goof plugs. It's a neat little tool. And it's lavender. Did I mention that? And in the totally not a punch category, I have here a dig gun type insertion tool. I included it because some of the other tools in this category can be used to insert fittings into poly. So I wanted to show you this. 
it doesn't punch holes at all, but it's great at what it does. This tool is specifically for inserting emitters and barb fittings into the end of quarter inch microtubing. If you've got weak hands or are doing a lot of barb insertions into microtubing, it's certainly worth the money. And remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so that your trees, lawns, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, chat with one of our superb customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly Shop and Compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.